Hey, Victor in London, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com, and I'm going to show you how I cut transition lenses for your Ray-Ban 2132, the new Wayfair in color 62, which is the MAC Black Rubber and the 55 eye size. So I'm going to take everything out. This is your Ray-Ban Italian leather case, your Ray-Ban frame, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth that was backwards. Let me turn that around before I ship it to you. Of course, this is your frame with the little crooked G15 sticker and the matte black. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop out your original heavy glass lenses. And I'm going to cut some lightweight transition lenses for you. I'm going to put your Italian frame into my Italian Santanelli. This is the LE1000 patternless edger. And the stylus is coming up to trace the shape of your right lens. And then it's going to move over and trace the shape of your left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and receive free single vision prescription clear lenses. Of course, you're paying the upgrade to the transition. And of course, yours are non-prescription and they're just for fashion. So I'm going to bring your shape up. If this were a prescription, I'd put your pupillary distance in. But it is not, so I'm just going to have it match the frames. And you specifically requested plastic lenses and not polycarb, so at your request, these are plastic being cut for a plastic frame. And I know from experience in this frame, they cut a little large, so I'm going to bring it down in size. So let me take your lens out of the protective packaging where they send them to me in. Let me do that for your left lens or your right, since it's non-prescription. This could be either or. Get rid of that. Now this is a block. This is known as a block. This is what's going to hold it in place while it is cutting. So, 3M, the same people who make post-it notes, make these little double-sided adhesive stickers. So I'm going to put a sticker on the first block, pull the sticker away, and stick that on there in the middle. Let me do the same thing for the second. And stick. And so, the lens goes into the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles. And I apologize, I did super glue my fingers together earlier. So that's what stuck to my finger. I gotta get that off. But the caliper is gonna come down and it's gonna trace the shape of your frame onto the lens to make sure your lens is large enough to cut out. And of course it is, but this is just a routine operation it goes through. It's starting with the rear surface, the concave surface, which is closest to your eyelashes. Then it moves over and traces the convex side of the lens. The actual cutting wheel is down here on the very bottom. It's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material. And this, lens, this wheel in the center with that little channel, that valley, that's what's going to cut the bevel onto the lens so it fits inside the frame. I will have to close the door in a moment, but for now I just want you to see as your transition lenses touches down onto the cutting wheel. If you notice, your lens is still completely flat at the edges, just like a nickel, just like a pound to you. I could take it out and stand it on the, its edge on the counter. Now it's getting the bevel put on there. I'm going to wipe my lens off to make sure there's no moisture on it. So that is done. Let's pull everything out. Dry everything off. Now you still have some rough edges there left over from the cutting cycle. So I'm going to use my hand stone. And the friction from that will smooth out any rough edges that you had that was left over from the cutting cycle. Now let's see if it fits. I'm going to start at the outside corner, tuck it in there, and using my thumbs, I press down at the nose. Hey, it snaps in perfectly. I took it down just the right amount. So now I'm going to do the same thing for your left lens. And just like before, the calipers are going to come down 
but this time they're going to trace the shape of your left lens and if you use your imagination you can see the shape of your lens being traced on there camera one camera two let's stick with camera one so you can watch your shape being traced do you see the shape of your lens be the lens be the lens So, Victor in London, it's one of my favorite towns. I used to go every two years. I've got some friends who live in Ealing Broadway, and they, they would always let me stay there. I would take, take walks around Walpole Park. I love it. Monty's Nepalese restaurant there in, uh, oh, I can think of this. I can think of this. Oh, it's the third stop on the blue line from Heathrow. What is that? Nor north to North something. What is it? What is it? Uh... But anyway, Monty's is near there. That was my favorite restaurant in London. Don't ask me why. It just is. So, pull that sticker off. And of course, there's no prescription to have to read in my Marco 101 lensometer. These are non-prescription. They will be clear indoors and then turn dark when you go outside. And I will demonstrate that as soon as both lenses are in your frame. So let's take this one out, dry it off, go over to the handstone. And I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner, then using my thumbs, I press down at the nose and it snaps in perfectly. So let's take this block off, dry your lens off, let me move everything, clean up my mess. Now. One thing I want to do before I ship it to you, and I also like to point out that 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So if you receive these and they're too loose or they're too tight or they're high on one side, because 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other, I'm no different. When I take mine off and press down, I have a wobble. But I'm going to make sure yours are in standard alignment or three-point stance with one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I press down, there is no wobble. Flip them over, press down, there is no wobble. I make sure that each temple overlaps perfectly and the same amount of tension on the hinges. And of course, you can see how the clear lenses look in your Ray-Ban new Wayfarer, color 622, the matte black. And now I'm going to activate them, meaning I'm going to put them in my little transitions unit and turn on my ultraviolet lamp so I can show you turning dark. Now, all transition, this is important, Victor. Listen, all transition lenses turn dark on day one. If you give them two weeks, they're going to continue to darken every day for the first two weeks until they get to their final setting. After that, they will work for years with maximum performance. It takes about 30 to 45 seconds for them to darken, about 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15 for them to return to clear. Now, they will work for years with maximum performance. The only time they will not work is when you're behind the windshield of a car. Unless you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will not darken because your windshield absorbs all the sun's ultraviolet rays that would cause them to turn dark. Now, you have UV protection in these, so you don't have to worry about ultraviolet exposure with your eyes. But unless you have a convertible, they just will not darken. Now, they do get darker the cooler it is once it gets into the 90s, and especially triple digits, which you don't really see in London. They just don't get as dark as it does when it's 90 and below. So that's what they look like the first time they're activated. Don't worry, Victor. They're going to keep getting darker and darker over the next few weeks. So if anyone has any questions about what I can and can't do, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Victor in London, I hope you enjoyed watching me make your transition lenses for your Ray-Ban new Wayfarers. And everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.